this is Reverend Don Lewis coming to you from beautiful Florida. And today our question comes to us from April McLeish. And April has this question. If an ancient symbol has changed its meaning over time, does this mean that its energy has actually changed? And if it has changed its meaning over time, should we stop using it if that change has been negative or start using it again if the change is positive? And she references the swastika, the cross, and the pentagram as examples of symbols that have been interpreted in very different ways in different times and places and communities. And my answer to this is to say that first, I think this is more the rule than the exception with important symbols. I think that most important symbols have been viewed differently by different people in different times and places and different communities. And sometimes that's just different ways of interpreting them. Sometimes the same symbol can be seen as being positive by one group and negative by another. And I don't think this is especially unusual. And does it mean that the symbol has changed its energy? Now, I would say no. I would say that it has the energy for a given community that that given community experiences with it. And uh, the fact that a different community may look at it differently does not mean that a symbol has changed in terms of your own interaction with it. Perhaps you could say that it's expanded in its meanings, but not changed. And to take the obvious example of uh, the svastika, the svastika in the Western world is viewed as very, very negative, particularly uh, since the resurgence of Nazism in the last few years, but even before that, it never recovered from its abuse in World War II. But in other parts of the world, it is not viewed that way at all. It's an important symbol in Buddhism, for example, and if you were to go to a majority Buddhist country, you would see people using it without a second thought as a positive symbol and one to be venerated. But in the Western world, that is not the case. Now, does this mean that the energy of that symbol changed? I would say no. I would say it's how people are using it. Uh, however, you also have to have common sense. And when it comes to the swastika in the Western world, you really should not be using it uh, as a general rule because nobody's going to understand it in a positive context in the wider society, no matter what context you are thinking of it in. Uh, perhaps in a private context, you might wish to use it, particularly if you were, for example, a Buddhist uh, or a Native American for whom, in many cases, that symbol has a long history of sacred use, uh, depending on the particular tribe and its history. But that still doesn't mean that people are going to understand it if you wear it out in public, and you, in my opinion, really should not. It's asking for trouble that you don't need. But has the energy of the symbol changed? I would say no. Uh, though it depends, I think, in part on how it's being used and who is using it. But I would say that if you are using it from your own tradition in a positive way, then it certainly is still positive, even though someone else has used it in a negative way. Another example is the pentagram. The pentagram is a very ancient symbol, and you find it in different ways in ancient Mesopotamia and ancient Egypt, and it has been in constant use throughout recorded history. And it's been used in many different ways by different groups. It was, for example, a symbol of Pythagoreanism. It was at one time an important symbol in the Christian church. If you go to many old churches, you'll see pentagrams right there in the decoration. And that doesn't mean there were secret pagans sneaking it in. No, it had a use within the Christian religion at one time. Uh, they have changed their view of the symbol for the most part. But that doesn't change the fact that it once was a positive symbol to them as well. Um, but symbols do change in how people view them. Now, the fact that many Christians now view the pentagram in a negative way, does that mean the pentagram has become negative? Absolutely not. It's a matter of the person and how they're interacting with it, what it means to them, and what they're doing with it. If you're using it for a negative purpose, of course it's going to be negative. But if you're using it in a positive way, of course it will still be positive. Um, and at no time in most of history has, in my opinion, any one major symbol had only one interpretation. There have always been multiple ways of understanding what those symbols mean. So the fact that there are multiple ways of understanding them now should not really give one pause. 
It's just the way things are. People come in a great variety of types with a great variety of opinions, and it's only natural that they will look at things in different ways. So my answer is that if you are working with a symbol that some people feel is negative, but to you it is positive and it comes from a positive history and context, well then it's a positive symbol for you. But again, use common sense in how you use it in wider society. Uh, if it is uh, viewed negatively, although that doesn't necessarily mean that you can't because I wear my pentagram all the time, and most Wiccans do, and uh, we simply explain what it means if we're asked. But I think in particular when it comes to the swastika, particularly given the political climate of the day, it would be a very bad time to try to reclaim it as a positive symbol in public. People are not going to understand that at this moment. And so I think that common sense must also be a factor in your decision of what symbols to use. So that would be my opinion. I hope you find it interesting, and until next time, may you blessed be. Please join me for our Corellian Peace Prayer. I pray for peace. I pray for love. I pray for stability. I pray for the nation where I live. I pray for the world.